Welcome back everyone to episode 6 of the Shabos Iron Man series. In the last one, I knocked out a big time goal by achieving 43 prayer to unlock overheads. In this video, I plan to put those to good use and will be braving the Shazian Crypt in search of gear upgrades, as well as taking on gangsters and the organized crime activity for the beneficial supply drops and a decent chance at getting a rune scimitar, which will be a huge upgrade over my rune dagger. So the first major goal that I plan on working towards this episode is to participate in the organized crime activity. The gangsters that you kill during it have some really useful and intriguing items on their drop tables that I'm quite interested in, but before I discuss those any further, there's one thing that I need to do beforehand, and that's to get up my Shazian favor. Ultimately, I'll need 40% favor to even begin organized crime, but after I get that, the favor should start rolling in quite a bit faster because each individual gang member that I kill gives 2% favor, so I estimate that an entire gang should give about 10-20% to favor, which means that after just a few short gangs, I should be at 100%, and I'll also gain the ability of using the Shazian armor. According to the wiki, the tier 5 Shazian armor gives a defense bonus between steel and black armor, so certainly not fantastic, but still a a lot better than nothing. Just got over 5% favor from healing these wounded soldiers and that gives me the option of killing lizardmen now and although I'm tempted to do that I think I'll stick with healing the soldiers seeing as I'm already here. Uh, plus, uh, killing Lizardmen, it would be a lot better if I had anti-poison potions, which I haven't quite unlocked. In order to do that, I need exactly 26 more Herbler XP, so I could go kill Hill Giants for some Guams. But I don't know. I feel like I'll be able to kill plenty of Lizardmen in the future of this account, so for now I'm just going to stick with healing the wounded soldiers up until 40%. Oh, and before I forget, there's one quick thing I'd like to mention regarding how favor works. In the last episode, quite a few of you voiced your concern over the fact that I wouldn't be able to gain Shazian favor without locking the Hesidious favor first at 100%. Now, while this was true before, the mechanics of how favor works was recently changed. Before, you did have to get 100% and then talk to an NPC to lock it before moving on to a new type of favor, but within the last couple of weeks, there was a small update that slipped in that changed the mechanics completely so that you are no longer penalized for trading multiple types of favor at the same time. As you can see here, I'm actively gaining Shazian favor without my 75% Hasidius favor going down. So yeah, kind of a small update that slipped in there and didn't have a lot of headlines, so I can see why a lot of people might not know about this. So overall, that's my bad for not properly addressing it in the last video. 1700 feathers from the maze random event. I will take that. That's like 300 chickens that I no longer have to kill. Oh, here it is. 40% favor has now been achieved. I can finally start doing organized crime. Boy, am I excited for this. This is going to be some really nice content on the account. Such a big upgrade over healing the wounded soldiers. This is going to be so much more enjoyable to do. What an absolutely juicy looking drop table this is. This is going to be revolutionary right here. You've got gold bars for some really nice crafting XP, three tiers of planks for construction, a variety of herbs, cosmic runes with a generous portion of 30 to 60 at a time, which is going to be amazing for magic. I don't know if I've mentioned this a lot, but I believe that enchanting jewelry might be one of the more viable methods I have for training magic, so this is an important drop right here. And then you've also got a variety of armor and weapon drops. Now, obviously, the most notable one right here is going to be the Rune Scimitar. It has a 1 out of 80 drop rate, so pretty good odds right there. I'm hoping to get one early so I can use it against the undead creatures in the crypt. Those things also have a pretty good chance of dropping a Rune Scimitar, but the odds aren't quite as good. I killed over 300 of them and only got two Rune Scimitars, so I believe that this will probably be um, the best chance I have of getting one of these. And you've also got some black armor equipment. Now, I'm not entirely sure if these will be better than the Shazian armor pieces, so I'll have to compare them to see which is best. But what might happen is I'll be rocking the black plate skirt, chain body, and med helm, while also rocking the tier 5 Shazian gloves and boots. And that could be my melee setup for the foreseeable future. First attempt at finding a gang, and it is uneventful. Piscorilius, so definitely can't do that. I looked it up on the wiki and there are about 43 potential spots that a gang can spawn across Zaya, and I have access to only six of those spots. Four of them are in Shazian, and then two of them are down here, one being in Land's End, and the other being by the Barbarians. So that gives me about a 14% chance of being able to find one, but luckily those odds are increased by the fact that the cycles and rotations of the gangs are different depending on the type of server. There are four types of servers. You have the US servers, the UK ones, the German ones, and the Aussie ones. And as I said, they're all synced up differently. 
so my odds of finding a gang greatly increase because of that. If I'm being honest, I'm still not entirely clear about how the rotation works as well as the mechanics behind this, but I think after I actually start doing it, I'll probably understand things a little bit better. So let's jump right in this and try and find a world. So I found a world that has a report of there being a gang in the upstairs portion of this large tent here. Are there any gang members? There are. Oh, this is exciting. This is exciting. The first gang that I will infiltrate. How many are there? It looks kind of like a small one. Yeah, just five members. So I guess uh, four of these guys plus the gang boss. So I need to approach this carefully so I don't accidentally die. Let's try it out. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get one of these guys off to the side or I don't know, I guess it doesn't matter as long as I pray. Man, they're actually pretty easy to kill, already down to like two thirds of his health. Uh, okay, a little bit of lag there. I didn't know what was going on there for a second. Good thing the hardcore status is still intact. First one down, Rune Scimitar. Ooh, Black Chain Body. I'll take that. That's a nice upgrade right there. I'm not sure if the gang boss has an increased drop rate of some of the items, but. Yeah, hoping I get a Rune Scimitar from this guy. Please give me that RNG. Aw, unfortunate. But hey, I'll take it. Some really nice stuff overall. And I got these Intelligence that I can use to exchange for Combat XP. After trading in those three Intelligence that I got as drops, I am now in possession of three Training Manuals, which give Melee Combat XP. Now, funny enough, this was my original plan for how I would train magic, but as you can see, sadly, it only gives melee XP. I'm not really sure why that is. It doesn't make that much sense to me, but I guess it's better than nothing. Um, I'll go ahead and use this on, I don't know, maybe attack or something. Use it to uh, get my attack up and try to catch up to strength. But yeah, it would be so nice if I could use this to train magic. That would solve so many issues, but oh well, I'll take it. Also managed to get uh, some oak planks and some teak planks, a little bit of money, and this amazing black chain body. Oh man, look at that. That is such an upgrade right there. Look how much better that is. So now all I have to do is get my hands on the black plate skirt and the black mid helm, and I'll have the full armor set from these guys. Oh yes, there's another one over here. Oh, I'm having some really good luck when it comes to finding the locations. So here's the second one, this time in the Barbarian camp. And before I actually infiltrate this one, I'm a little bit curious about how much favor I gained from the last one. I haven't checked yet, so I was at 40% and now I'm at 58%. Whoa, that's better than I thought. So the wiki says you get 2% per member and I killed five members, so I guess the gang boss like the head gang member, this guy, the head honcho, I guess he gives 10%, not two. So yeah, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna get 100% no time. With that being said though, let's go ahead and knock out this second one. Oh, you know what? I just realized this guy's wielding a knife, which means I think he's going to range me. So I need to be careful. I'm gonna try to kill this one first. I think I can lure him off to the side if I go over here maybe. Oh, easy, nice. Look at this, taking them on individually, I don't even need prayer. Man, that's so easy. Gold bars, nice! That's gonna be amazing crafting XP. I think with the boss, I can just go ahead and set my quick prayers to protect from range, and these guys will hopefully get trapped behind him, so go ahead and test that theory out. Nice, looks like we got it. Aw, oh, no, not another one! Wait, what? They despawned! No! Did I take too long? Why did they despawn? Oh. oh, I just realized something. Maybe if you kill the gang boss first, the regular gangsters will, like, retreat and they, they'll despawn. Oh, shoot. Maybe I have to kill the gang boss last every single time. Well, I guess you live and you learn. I didn't know that. Hey, hell yeah, there's another one right here. Third one, can we get lucky and get the rune scimitar this time? Oh, there's the first cosmic rune drop. This is a pretty good one right here. How many is it? 30 cosmic runes, and you can get 60 as well, so that's the lower quantity right there. Last chance to get the rune scimitar, can I get lucky? Mahogany planks, ooh, hey, that's got a, uh, a high value to it with the purple text coming in. So from that gang, I was able to get a black plate skirt which is another armor upgrade that's two out of the three pieces that i can use and yeah that's a nice little upgrade to the defense bonus look at that not too shabby so can i store any of this stuff i'd be curious to find out if i can stockpile xp nope sadly you cannot 
kind of figured that would be the case. Very nice, the fourth gang has been spotted. Let's take this one out and hope for some good loot. Just got finished taking out that gang and that put me at 100% Shazian favor, so very nice to see that. I can now lock that in, not that it really does anything, but I suppose it can't hurt, may as well do it. And I also got myself three more pieces of intelligence, some cosmic runes, and a few teak planks. So got a fair few of these uh, training manuals here, which will be some nice combat XP. So now that I'm 100% favor, I now have the ability to obtain the tier 5 Shazian armor, which is the highest level you can get. The only thing standing in my way now is to take on these five dudes over here. First piece of armor down, Shazian gloves. Hey, that's an upgrade right there. Woo, look at that. There is the tier one Shazian helm down, and wait, why does it make my eyes white? That's kind of weird. It makes me look like I'm possessed or something. And there are the boots, which is another minor gear upgrade. What the heck are those? What are those? Look at that. I look like, um, very feminine while I wear these. Wow, that skirt and boot combo. Very nice, there is the first complete armor set. Now let's work on tier two. Check out them arms though, looking pretty chiseled in that tank top. Turn it into a buff ass motherfucker. And the chiseled figure is no more, RIP. Tier two armor set complete, looks pretty good. Honestly, props to whichever J mod designed all these because every single one of the tiers looks really, really good. And there's the full tier three set. This should be a really, really uh, drastic change to the headwear right here. Oh man, look at that. You got the like the kind of skull portion on the face there. So yeah, there's the full tier three set looking pretty nice with that white trim. And that's it. That is the full tier five armor set. And that feels really good. Feels nice to finally have a uh, full set of armor. Now the big reveal is whether or not the uh, Shazian Greaves 5 and the Shazian Plate Buddy 5 are better than the uh, black equipment that I got from the gangs. I think the plate skirt might be an upgrade, so this might be best in slot, although I'm not sure. Oh, hold on. No, it isn't. Okay, never mind. So the Greaves are best in slot, and then I'm pretty sure the Plate Buddy will be better. Yeah. Okay, so I guess um, I'll just put these in the bank and then out them eventually. So. My best in slot armor is going to, as a matter of fact, be the Shazian Tier 5 set until I can get something better. So, yeah, it's kind of surprising. I thought that these might be just slightly better, but I was mistaken, so we'll be rocking this set from now on. Gonna go ahead and test out the newly acquired armor here at another gang. This is gonna be the fifth one. Really hoping for a rune scimitar so I can use that in the crypt, but if I don't get it this one, I'll probably just stick with the rune dagger. I also wish I could encounter a larger gang at some point because I'm pretty sure all the ones I've encountered so far have been kind of small. I think the lowest they can be is five members, and I think the max is like 10. So I'm hoping I can get a larger quantity because a lot of mine have been like five or six. Sadly didn't get a scimitar, but I did get a whopping 81 cosmic runes and 74 compost. Oh, very nice. This is a really big gang. I've been waiting for a uh, larger gang like this. I think as long as I can continue finding gangs at the notice board, I'll probably just keep doing them. Uh, but once I get to a point where I just cannot find one for the life of me and I get on a pretty bad streak, I'll probably just head down into the crypts. But for now, as long as I keep finding the locations, I may as well keep doing them because I really want to get that rune skim. A hard clue scroll. Okay, I was not expecting that. Is there any chance I could do it? Like just the first step? Ah, oh, man. Unfortunate. Maybe I'll get a step one day and I could do that method where you can force spawn like a Sarah wizard and get battle stabs. That'd be pretty cool. I'm not even sure if I have a coordinate step in my region, but if I do, that'd be pretty nice. And hopefully if I don't, they'll add one eventually. All right, this guy's really tricky right here because he uses range and not only that, but his range attack is really powerful. So I'm gonna try to lure him over here. And then if I run back this way, Hopefully he'll be trapped. All right, go over here. No, don't click on them. Over here. And he's stuck. Good. All right, there we go. What? No. No, they despawned. Oh my god, all that for nothing. Darn it. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, and it also might be worth mentioning that I discovered something pretty useful about how gangs work recently, and that is that after defeating a gang in one location, you can simply hop worlds and have the chance of finding that same gang in a different world. So basically, you can just redo the same gang that you just did. So that's what I did in that last clip, and that's why I ran out of time. Um, while it's a really good method, 
The only problem is that my stats are still kind of low, and sometimes I can't kill them fast enough before the timer runs out and they despawn. So that's basically what happened in the last clip, but it's still really interesting that you can do that, and it helps me increase my chance of getting a rune scimitar. Well, it has finally gotten to that point where I am now struggling to find a gang location. I've waited a couple of rotations and haven't had any luck, so I think now is as good a time as ever to take on the Shazian Crypt. Prayer has been recharged and it is now time to enter the crypt. I've been waiting a long time to do this. I think it's taken a little over two weeks of preparation to get to this stage and I'm really looking forward to this. I will be going back to the notice board to check and see if there are any gangs in my local area, but for the most part I'll be spending most of my time here in the crypt and uh, killing these undead creatures in hopes of some nice upgrades. May or may not have forgotten my light source, so a little bit anticlimactic there, but after I grab my lantern, the grind will officially begin. Exciting times, exciting times. First time in the crypt for real. There we go, we're finally here. So as a quick recap, the notable drops here are going to be the Rune Scimitar, the Rune Med Helm, the admin axe, as well as some beneficial supply drops. It also occurred to me that since I do not yet possess a means of teleportation on this account, I'm going to have to approach this rather carefully if I want to retain my hardcore status. I think as soon as I get down to just a few pieces of food left, I'll probably have to just go ahead and bail. If I'm in a dire situation and I need to make a run for it, I'm not even sure if I'd be able to get back to this ladder in time. These things can hit you pretty hard and they can also combo you out quite a bit. Within this crypt, there are a variety of skeletons and zombies that use all three attack styles. So for example, right here, you have a skeleton mage, which obviously uses magic. Right here is a zombie, which I believe is a ranger, and then some of them also use melee. So that means that seeing as it's multi-combat, I would get absolutely decimated if I were to run to the center of the room. Even with protection prayers, they wouldn't really do all that much. That would only deflect about one third the damage, so that's not really an option at this point. The trick to killing these things is going to be utilizing the small alleyways that stem from the main passages of the crypt. Here, a lot of the undead creatures are isolated by themselves, making them far more manageable to kill. This small alleyway just south of the entrance looks like a pretty prime location to start out. Not only is there only one spawn that I have to deal with, but it's also pretty close to the entrance, so if I ever need to make like a quick getaway and I'm in a really bad situation, at least the entrance isn't too far away. I think my best course of action is going to be running all the way south, so hopefully I can lure them all the way down here to a point where I can slip into the alleyway with them getting stuck about at this point. I'm not sure if that's gonna work, but I guess I may as well just test it out right now. Okay, here we go. Please don't completely decimate me. Oh, this is gonna hurt. An 18 right off the bat. See, these things are strong. They're ridiculously like accurate with their hits. So if I run all the way over here, and then I run here. Is this gonna work? Please do not follow me in here. Okay, I think I did it. Oh my gosh. Okay, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought. That was pretty good, honestly. The nice thing about these guys is they have really low hit points overall. I think they only have about 54, so killing these things definitely isn't gonna take too long. And I need to make sure I get my prayers right or I'm gonna get my food depleted really quickly. Uh, anyway though, the first drop is five coins. Oh no. That's like a, I think that's the lowest quantity that you can get here. Another nice thing about these guys is they only take about 15 seconds to respawn, so not a tremendous amount of waiting time in between kills. Second kill on the way, please give me something cool and I wish my prayer would stop turning off. Come on, Rune Scimitar, right here. A Terraman, third kill. Mithril Bar, that's a new item right there. Kind of cool to see on the floor. And I think that's where I'm going to make a run for it. Definitely not the best trip to say the least. I'm really not very good at commentating while praying at the same time. I cannot for the life of me one tick pray flick while commentating to save my life. I just am really struggling with that. So I'll try to practice that and maybe just not even commentate at all unless I get like a drop or something. So I'll try to focus on the pray flicks instead because those are really important. If you miss one flick, you get hit for like a 15 almost every time. So 
I'm going to try to work on that, but I guess I'll go and recharge my prayer, grab some more food, and then head back for the second trip. I'm going to bust out one of my four strength potions that I collected from Dr. Jekyll over time that should speed up the kills at least a little bit. So the goal for the second trip is to get more than seven kills. That is the kill count that I got on the first one. So same course of action, I'll lure these two guys to the south and then slip into this alleyway, hopefully unnoticed, where I can take on the soul meleeer. Also going to try and, as I said, uh, focus a little bit more on prey flicking and less on commentating. And these things only have about a 10 or 15 second respawn time, and a few times on the last trip I was caught off guard and I wasn't really ready for it to spawn, so I'm going to try and adjust for that as well. Oh my gosh, already? No way! Admin Axe, just like that, 8th kill. Um, yeah, I think the second trip is off to a pretty fast start. What? How am I getting so lucky? Rune Midhelm? No. That's the 10th kill. Oh, you're joking. That's so good. I just need the Rune Scimitar and I've gotten all the notable drops here. Oh, okay, okay, um... <laughs> I knew that trip was too good to be true, so apparently the ranger can attack you if you're standing on this side of the corridor. Aw, oh, shoot. I messed it up. I didn't think he could do that. Aw. Oh, I really didn't think he could do that. I didn't think he'd ever be able to see me as long as I'm in that little alleyway there. Well, despite the premature and scuffed ending to that trip, overall it was a pretty darn good one. Two drops and three kills. That is some very nice beginner's luck right there. So really nice to get that early luck right off the bat. The Adamant Axe allows me to get 80 fletching far faster than I would have with my Steel one, and then the Rune Midhelm is a nice defensive upgrade over the Shazian Helm. Just for the sake of saving some of the content for the next episode, I'm going to cut the current one right here and save the Rune Scimitar grind for episode number 7. Whether I get one from the Crypt or from Organized Crime, all I know is that I'm really eager to get my hands on one of those elusive curved swords. As always though, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.